Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily slow down videos on your iPhone. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to record slow motion video, this is a tutorial on how to slow down existing videos that you've already recorded or you've downloaded from the internet. So the first application you will need in order to do this is iMovie. iMovie is a completely free application. Back in the day, if you were one of the OGs, it actually used to cost money, but now it's completely for free. So you can just go into the App Store and then just download uh, I move right here. It's made by Apple, completely free to use. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend you get this if you want to slow down um, video. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up iMovie. Uh, iMovie. And so for you, uh, you're not going to see this. You're going to see this projects page. And you want to tap on plus on the projects page. Then you want to tap on movie. And then you want to find the video that you want to slow down. So we're going to slow down uh, this clip right here. So we'll tap on this. You can see, by the way, this is 40 seconds. This will be important in just a minute. So we'll tap on this, then we'll tap on create movie. Now we have the clip right here. So you can see currently 40.6 seconds. How do we slow it down? Well, we're going to tap on this and then you see right here, we have a bunch of options. We're going to tap on this uh, speedometer and you can see we have slow and we have fast. So we're just going to move this here. And now we have eighth uh, uh, speed. And what eighth speed means is it's eight times, well, how do you say it? It's an eighth of the speed, right? So just divide by eight, basically. So what you can see right here, now the video is five minutes, 24. And um, no idea why I can't scrub around. There we go. So if you're having issues scrubbing, just tap on this button, then you can scrub around. And um, yes, if we play it, you can see, look how slow that is, right? You can also hear the audio as well is uh, extremely slow. If you want to move the audio, just tap on the audio button right here. And just set that to zero then the audio will go away and um yes yeah, so you can really choose any speed you want right two thirds with a 66 percent speed 50 percent speed 33 percent speed 25 percent speed all that good stuff and um yeah just mess around if you don't want to slow down the entire clip you can see right here there's this yellow thing you can move this around so let's just move this like here and if i just tap on this this part in yellow is going to be slowed down this part isn't you can do it the same with the front of the clip. So there we go. And if you want to cut like the middle part, you'd have to split here. And then you can like slow down. Let's say this part is sped up or normal speed. This part slowed down. And then you can just experiment with it. So I'm just going to slow down this clip. And uh, I'm going to slow down this part. And then once you're done, you're going to tap on done right here. And you see your movie right here. You're going to tap on the share button. Then export a project. You can choose that if you want to like move it to your Mac or something. Or you can just tap on say video and you can choose the quality. We'll choose, we'll choose, we're going to choose 360p just so I can make this video quick. Uh, I recommend you choose 1080p because then you'll have good quality. And then movie will export. And now it's in my photo library. So let's have a look at it. So, okay, there it is. And, um, Actually, let's go to, uh, let's go to videos. There we go. All right. So, can you see the part why I slowed this down? I don't think I actually slowed it down. So let's try this again. So we'll go back into edit, and it seems like ah, there we go. That's the problem. I didn't actually. So we'll just go like this. Boom. Then we'll tap on done, and now it's actually slowed down. So the problem was is I reset it back to the normal. So then we're going to tap on share. We'll save to photos again. There we go. And we'll do 360p for the speed. And uh, this time it should have been properly done. So that was just a little mistake on my end. When I was showing like the splitting and stuff, it reset to one time speed. So obviously no, no changes were made. So let's have a look at the clip now. So you can see it's here. And now we'll go. Now it's 2 minutes 56. And you can see, yep, it's slowed down. So depending on the frame rate you record the video on, you can see the video does look a bit choppy. If you record at 60 FPS, I recommend you can slow it down two times, like 50% to half speed, or a bit more for it to still look smooth. If you record in 30 FPS, if you slow down the video, it's going to look choppy. That's just something you have to keep in mind, because if you're recording 60 frames per second, and you slow it down, you know, 60 times, then every second is going to be one frame which displays on the screen, right? And so how slow motion works on the iPhone is it will, it will record at 240 frames per second, and then it will slow it down, you know, four times, six times, um, whatever 
240 divided by 30 is, which is about uh, eight times. So it will slow down eight times. And then when it's slowed down, um, it still looks smooth because it, the video is still running at 30 frames per second. It's just been slowed down in them. Yeah, so that's just something you need to keep in mind. I recommend if you are if you really want to get slow motion video, use the slow mo feature. I have a tutorial on how to record slow motion video in the description. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. And make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. And uh, bye bye.